Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool twisting the aces trick. Uh, if you don't know what it is, basically it's just the three aces, or the four aces, flipping over without the spectator seeing anything happen. So again, four aces, try, and if I, you see me flip anything over, t let me know. Here we go. Did you see me flip anything over? You did? Okay, well don't worry. It's uh, not going to happen anymore. Okay, here we go. Did you see anything happen? Well, something happened because look, the ace of hearts flipped over and I didn't even do anything. Look, it's gonna happen again. You saw nothing happen, but the ace of clubs flipped over and I didn't do anything. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, flip the ace of clubs back over. Next is the ace of diamonds. Here we go. There it is. Flipped over and I didn't do anything. The hardest one is probably the ace of spades, but uh, I think I can do it. Did you see anything happen? Uh. Yeah, see, like I said, it's hard to get it. Uh, you see anything happen? There we go. The ace of spades flipped over on its own, and that is twisting the aces. Okay, guys, so here's the tutorial for the trick you just saw. It's actually a really cool trick. It's twisting the aces, but you really only have four aces, where usually you have an extra card in there trying to make it look like you flipped them over. So it's really cool. I think you guys are really going to like this. So let's get straight into how it's done. So what you're going to do is you're going to need to have the four aces in chased order. If you don't know what that is, it's simply clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. Again, chased order is clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. So you want it in that order or else the trick won't work. So what you're going to do is uh, you're going to start off by showing you have four cards and showing them quickly. But you're not going to do it like, okay, look, we have the ace of hearts here, ace of clubs here. Ace of you don't want to do that because what you're about to be doing here is a triple lift. Okay, and we're going to get into how to do that in a second. So you're going to make it look like the top card is the ace of spades. But whenever you do this, they see that it's not the top card. So you just kind of want to quickly show them, look, I have four aces. You don't want to be like, look, I have the four aces and name them off. You just want to quickly show. So now how to do the triple lift. So after you've shown the cards and you're like, okay, so I'm going to try and flip the cards over, but I don't want you to see it. And then you're simply just going to flip over a triple lift. It's basically just flipping over the three cards as one. But uh, there's two ways you can get a break in order to do this. You can just use your pinky to pull down on the card. Or what I like to do, seeing as how I kind of cut my pinky... Use your index finger to pull back and buckle the bottom card. So it's basically just pulling back on this corner, your index finger, and causing that card to buckle back there and making it where you can get a break. So you're going to do a triple lift. Say, okay, here we go. Did you see me flip a card over? They said, uh, yeah. You're like, oh, okay, well, it won't happen again. Now what you're going to do is turn your hand this way. Okay, so that, because what you're going to do is pull this ace out and flip it over. So what they think you've done is just grab that ace that, they think you only flipped over one card. So you're just grabbing that ace out. And flipping it over, but really what you're doing is you're hiding the fact that you actually flipped over three cards when you put this back. So now what you are is you're in this position. You have these two aces in between the two face down aces. And now what you're going to do is an Elmsley count. Now, we're going to get back into this uh, part of the tutorial, but what I'm about to do is I'm about to give you guys an Elmsley count tutorial. Okay? If you already know how to do the Elmsley count, skip to right here. Okay? And, uh, well, let's get straight into how to do the Elmsley count. So let's forget this part of the trick for a second. Just get four random cards, okay? So, uh, if you're seeing as how we're doing this trick here, go ahead and just get the four aces out, and we're going to go ahead and do the Elms account. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take the third card of these four cards and flip it over, okay? So that it's face up, just like that. And now what the Elms account looks like is it's hiding that card. While it's like you're just pulling off four random car four cards that are facing the same way, you're actually hiding that ace of spades. So what you're going to do is you're going to start off by holding it in middle grip. That's just basically your middle finger on this side and um, thumb here and then these fingers dingling over here and then this index finger just kind of hitting the middle kind of like that. And you're going to start off by using your thumb to peel off the card just a little bit. And then you're going to hold it in this grip and then come by like, holding it like this, okay, with just your four fingers back here and your thumb here. And now you're going to grab it at the end. You're going to pinch it, your index and middle finger at the bottom and your thumb right here. And you're holding it just like that, okay? You're going to peel off that card. So now you're holding it like this. You're going to go ahead and peel off that card you already flipped off, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to take these two fingers and pull this bottom card back while your thumb is pushing to push those two cards off as one, okay? And since I'm doing it slow, you're kind of coming apart. But you'll feel it. They will want to stay together, okay? You're just pushing off these two cards, okay? So you're pushing that off. You're going to come and grab these two cards. So you're pushing these off again. It'll be a little more squared up than that. And whenever you come to grab those two cards, you're going to drop off that bottom card and pull these two cards. So now you got these two cards, three, four, okay? 
So have this in the third position, full speed, you pull that card out, push off those two, come to grab them, reload that card, okay, and at full speed, it'll look a little something like that, okay? So that's how to do the uh, Elmsley count, okay? Okay, so now that you know how to do the Elmsley count, we're back into this position, okay? So you got these two face-up aces, and now you're going to do that Elmsley count we just went over. So showing the Ace of Hearts just like that. So now you're in this position. So you're going to look, the Ace of Hearts flipped over. Now you're going to do the Elmsley count again. And this time it's going to look like the Ace of Clubs flipped over, okay? So now you're in this position. What you're going to do is you're going to take this card, this top card, and move it to the bottom just like that. And now you have this Ace of Clubs face up. And you're going to, do again, do a triple lift. So you're flipping over these three cards, the Ace of Hearts, the Ace of Clubs, and the card in between them. And you're just going to flip that over as one. So I think you're just flipping the Ace of Clubs over. Okay? Now, you're not going to do an Elmsley count this time. You're actually just going to deal off four cards because the Ace of Diamonds is already right here in the middle. You don't have to do anything. So just deal them off like that. Say, look, the Ace of Diamonds has gone in the middle. And now look at this. Now the Ace of Spades is on top, and that's right where you want it. So you're going to take the Ace of Diamonds out. You're going to catch a break, and you're like, okay, so we're going to take the Ace. The Ace of Spades is the hardest one to flip over. And when you're doing this, you're going to be like, uh, just doing this motion, like, you know, just a gesture. And whenever you do that, you're simply going to do a push-off pinky break, just like that, and get a break above that Ace. So like this, just like that. And now you got a break above or underneath the uh, Ace of Spades. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this card, lay on top, and now you're going to grab at that break. So they think you're just lifting up the Ace, but the Ace of Diamonds, but actually you have the Ace of Spades underneath it. You're going to use this to flip over the pack in your hand and lay this down. So they think that you just took the Ace of Spades and laid it back on the rest of the deck facing the rest of the way. But now you have the Ace of Spades in the third position, just like this. And you're ready to again do an Elms account. And you're going to be like, okay, look, did you see anything happen? No? Well, something happened. Oh, wait, never mind, it didn't. You're like, you know, I screwed up the trick. But really, you have the Ace of Diamonds here now. So now what you're going to do is another Elms account. Again, you're going to just do this gesture and just another Elms account. To make it look like the ace appeared face up in the middle. Because if it's down here, then you can do this. Elms account makes it like it appeared in the middle. Just like that. And, uh, yeah. That's the trick, guys. So let's kind of go over it one more time. Have the car have the uh, aces and clubs. Hearts, spades, diamonds. So, chase order. You're going to start off by doing a triple lift. Showing the ace. Flip it over. Grab the ace. Not flashing these cards down here. Uh, you're going to do an Elms account. You're going to do another Elms account. You're going to move this card to the bottom and flip over all three cards, making the flipping all over these three cards, making the Ace of Clubs look like you're only flipping over one card. You're not going to do an Elms account. You're just going to do a normal count, a reverse count. Now you're going to take the Ace, put it on top. Before you do, you're going to do a uh, push off pinky break, getting a break underneath that Ace of Spades, just like that. Lay this on top, grab the break, making it look like you only have one card, but you have two cards. Flip this over with this, these two cards, lay this on top, flip this over, do an, another Elms account, make it like there's no Ace of Spades, give it a shake, do, oh my bad, do another Elms account, just like that. Okay, and that is a trick, I'm sorry for the camera, it keeps getting out of focus like that, it's been doing that through the whole video, it's driving me crazy, but uh, yep, that's pretty much the trick guys, it's just mostly the Elms account, that's the main slight, it is, a, it might take a little bit of practice to get that move down, but once you got it, it is a really sweet move, you'll be using that in a lot of tricks. So, uh, yeah, with that, subscribe, um, like, share this video with your friends, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video, comment down below what you thought about the video, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.